Hey there and welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through something really useful. How to edit a single word in Suno Studio. Whether you want to remove, replace, or regenerate just one word in your track, I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. Let's dive in. Editing in Suno Studio is actually pretty straightforward once you know the process. The key is working with stems. First things first, head over to your library and select the track you want to edit. Once you've found it, open it up in Suno Studio. The interface will load up your track and you'll see it displayed in the workspace. Now before we start making any changes, it's a good idea to audition the track. Just hit play and listen through to make sure you've got the right song loaded up. As you listen, you'll get a feel for where the word or section you want to edit is located. Once you've confirmed it's the right track and you know roughly where your edit needs to happen, we're ready to move on to the next step, generating stems. To do this, look for the inspector panel on the side of your workspace. In there, you'll find an option called Extract Stems. Now, since we're editing vocals specifically, you'll want to select both vocals and instrumental when extracting stems. This separates the vocal track from the instrumental backing, which gives you much more control. Once that's done, insert them into your multi-track workspace. You'll see them appear as separate tracks. You'll notice that Suno has automatically muted the master track for you, which is helpful because now you're working with the individual stem tracks. Now it's time to find the exact portion you want to edit. Scrub through the timeline or use the playback controls to locate the specific word or phrase you're targeting. Once you've found the section you want to edit, select it by clicking and dragging over that portion of the vocal track. Now look down at the bottom of your workspace. You'll see several options for the type of sound you want to regenerate. Suno gives you quite a variety here, but since we're editing vocals, we'll select the vocals option. This tells Suno that we want to regenerate just the vocal part of this section. Keep the style settings the same as what's already in your track. This ensures consistency with the rest of your song. Now comes the fun part. Type in the new lyrics you want Suno to generate. Just enter the words exactly as you want them to be sung. Take your time here and make sure you're happy with what you've typed. Once you're satisfied with your new lyrics, click the replace button. Suno will now work its magic and generate two variations of that section for you. Give Suno a moment to generate the variations. Once it's done, you can audition the first variation by playing it back. If it sounds perfect, great. You can keep it. But if you want to check out the other variation, here's what you do. Select the section in your track. Then in the track info panel, click the three dots menu. Look for an option called show take lanes. Click that and boom you'll see all the variations Suno generated for you. You've got the master track, variation one and variation two all laid out. To try out variation two, simply click copy to main track. This will replace that section with the second variation. Now audition it again. Stare at Matt like bro how? Listen carefully to see if it fits well with the rest of your song, if it suits the vibe you're going for, and if it's what you were after. If you're happy with it, perfect. If not, you can always go back and try the other variation or regenerate again. Once you've made your choice, you can close down the take lane. And that's basically it. You've successfully regenerated a portion of your track. Now that you're happy with your edit, it's time to export your track. Head up to the top right corner of the Suno Studio interface and click Export. Suno will give you a couple of options here. You can export either the multi-track project or the full song. 
For most purposes, you'll want to select Full Song. Click that option and Suno will bounce down your edited track and export it back into your library. Once that's done, navigate back to your library to find your newly edited track. Look for your newly generated track in your library. You'll be able to spot it easily because it'll have a little badge that says Made in Studio or Made with Studio. That's how you know it's been edited in Suno Studio. Let it populate fully, then click play to audition it. You can even skip directly to the section you edited to verify that the changes came out exactly as you wanted. There you have it. That's how you replace a specific word or section in Suno Studio. It's a powerful feature that gives you precise control over your tracks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing this content with others who might find it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Happy creating!